So you've recently hit level 25 and you're working on the gearing up process, the pre best in slot, the best in slot, all of that. But one of the things that you have yet to do is get more inventory space. Now, we all know about the Azeroth Commerce Authority and the uh, the Horde version. Turning in the Wayward Supplies gets you the opportunity to purchase items, small courier satchel. You can buy this, you can buy one of them. It's a 10 slot bag, okay? And 45 silver is pretty nice considering that the auction house is full of 10 slot bags that are about one gold each. Sometimes you can find them a little bit less. Sometimes you can find them a little bit more. We're just gonna search for silk because it's the most common. So small silk packs made by Max level tailors in phase one is about a gold, about 90 silver to one gold. Sometimes they get a little bit over depending on how uh, how busy the day is. So the idea is it's much better to spend 45 cents on that bag than it is to spend one gold. Now that's all great and all, you know, you have to do the, you have to grind the rep to get there. But down here, you can see a couple of other bags that are very handy as well. These are all 10 slot bags. These three, the ooze covered bag, the gunny sack of the night watch, and the Deviant Hide Pack, all 10 slot bags that have quests that involve them. And in the background, me and a buddy of mine are grinding in Wailing Caverns for the uh, the Deviant Skins or whatever it's called for a quest. The quest giver is right outside the dungeon. It requires, I think, 20 of the skins. Uh, if you're at level 25, most classes can duo this or solo this if you're uh, if you're decently geared whatsoever. I'm doing this with my buddy because it just, it just makes things go faster. Between the two of us, it took us about three to four partial clears to get enough to fill it up. And we got the bag, the uh, uh, Deviant Hide Pack. Now, the good news and the bad news about this is the amount of loot that you're going to get for farming the Raptors and the Crocolisks for you know three or four times in a row, the perfect Deviant Scales, the greens, sometimes the blues, the recipes, and all of the miscellaneous other stuff, especially if you're a Skinner, all of those rewards will easily buy you four silk bags. I got more than five gold worth of uh, sellable stuff during the three to four runs in there, but I'm just putting that towards my life savings for the 30 gold or whatever I need to do to buy the rune over in Ratchet. By far the longest and most tedious of the three quests, still worth doing, especially if you're on the Horde side because it's right there. It's a little bit more of an afternoon if you are on the Alliance side. You got to run there from Ashenvale or, you know, sneak down to Booty Bay and take the ship over and be careful ratchet is contested so is the whole barons uh, obviously if your alliance is contested as well so just be careful if you're on a pvp server next is the gunny sack of the night watch this begins in duskwood one of the npcs there right there in the middle of town has three stage quests all three stages are kill quests so you can do it very quickly in a group i recommend doing it in a group the third phase the plague spreaders they are a little bit higher level than we can get here in phase one definitely better to use in a group but you can easily complete this quest all three stages at level 25 you know, in a half an hour or less, depending on if you're running it with a group or uh, be by yourself being more careful. And then finally, the ooze covered bag is from an Alliance quest over in the wetlands from Minithal Harbor. You got to farm one item off of the oozes in the zone, also a PVP contested zone to be careful. So there are three relatively low effort, free, quote unquote, free bags that you can get. If you add the fourth one in from the Wayward Supplies Reputation Vendor, that's four 10 slot bags, easy peasy. Unfortunately, if you're on the Horde faction, there isn't a third quest. The Ooze Covered Bag doesn't have a Horde variant. However, there are a number of drops and vendorable things that you can get. The Felsteed Saddle Bags from Shadowfang Keep comes to mind. There's the Snakeskin Bag from Lady Otacondra in the Wailing Caverns. Obviously, you can just buy the Silk Pack from a tailor from the Auction House. And there are a couple larger bags such as the Traveler's Backpack and the Journeyman's Backpack that can be fished up in our world drop. And then finally, the Dark Moon Storage Box is available during the Dark Moon Fair. You're allowed to get one of those. And when Phase 2 and Phase 3 happens and bigger bags come along, you can sell that on the auction house for a ton of money. Same goes for the Traveler's Backpack and the Journeyman's Backpack that can be, you know, again, found by fishing or from world drops. Good luck in gearing up for Phase 1, unless you're a Horde.